We've seen a brief mention in the budget that the government wants to give police and tax authorities in dozens of countries access to Canadians' confidential information to fight tax evasion and advance uh, international investigations into crimes. Can you tell us why this is something the government's looking to do? We've, uh, we've been working together with international partners through the OECD to make sure that we have the ability to deal with, uh, with tax challenges, people trying to avoid or evade taxes. Uh, we've put in place a couple of agreements internationally, the Common Reporting Standard, which gives us access to understanding where Canadians are moving their money to other countries, uh, also to make sure through what's called base erosion and profit shifting that companies uh, have their profits and their revenues in the same jurisdictions uh, so that they can't actually put their profits in a place of, of low tax and their revenues in a place of higher tax, thus reducing their tax, uh, their tax implications. So we know that dealing with uh, in the international system requires us to figure out a way that we can actually get at people who are moving money in ways that might be uh, avoiding or uh, evading taxes. This is particularly important around things like money laundering or terrorist financing, uh, issues that are uh, critically important in the world. So we believe that this sort of effort is, uh, is one that's advancing our cause of ensuring tax fairness and ensuring that we don't have uh, people doing things that, that might be uh, quite uh, inappropriate in terms of things like terrorist financing or money laundering. That comes with privacy concerns. What are you prepared to do to give Canadians the confidence that their information won't be misused? Uh, what we can say is we're talking about uh, people who are uh, being uh, accused of uh, uh, effectively crimes. Uh, so we are, we are looking to make sure that we have a system that can deal with people that are doing things that are inappropriate in a way that respects all of Canadians' uh, rights and freedoms, which we, uh, we will uh, obviously continue to do. But uh, we do have a responsibility to make sure that the international network of terrorist financing or money laundering is dealt with in a way that, uh, that's uh, appropriate to this challenge, which is big.